I seen you do Coachella this past year. Mm -hmm. Is that your first time doing Coachella? That was my first time doing Coachella. How was the experience? It was amazing. Um, it was good because I felt like I deserved to perform in front of 15,000 plus because I've been doing it for so long and uh, why not, you know. Um, yeah, it was just dope, you know. It was, I'm, a, I'm a lot of people there watching me perform people that I don't even know, I'm sure it was our kind of business owners, and it was just dope. It was a dope experience, dude, to do Coachella. Now, is there a difference between performing at a festival versus like a regular booking in a club or something like that? Is it a different, is it a difference? Uh, yeah, it's a difference because I've always had a mixed crowd type fan base, and which is pretty accepting. You know, I can really come ha as I am, and it's okay because like that's how they are like i don't have to be dressed up in the best designer to rock a crowd because they're not they're fucking have their little american express cards in their back pocket in the dirt getting crunk and I, you know that's the difference like sometime in a club everyone is a little stiff you know because they don't want to get their gucci shoes um stained before they go back home to their apartment or whatever which is cool but i'm just saying it's a little, a little too uptight for me and i'm kind of like frugal man i'm like on some different shit and the energy, you know, it's like, they just love music, man. Them festival people, they just want to get dirty, fucked up, and listen to music. You ain't got to have the, the, the number one hit on the radio. They don't care. They want to have fun. And if you can rock a crowd and you can entertain a crowd, that's all they care about. So it's an absolute difference versus being in a club. They're going to stare at you until you make them rock, you know? You go be a fucking goldfish in a goddamn small-ass fishbowl until you make them rock. And I personally feel like... I'm not gonna stand and sweat my weave out to make some niggas that don't give a fuck about me rock anyway. <laughs> so it's it's a, a love difference. And shout out to all the clubs that, that book me and stuff like that. But it's a difference. Niggas need to step their game up. Festivals is where it's at. Now, do you do a different set because it's a festival compared to a club or? Um, no, actually when I'm doing the festival shows, which is a, a blessing in itself, I'm brung out by Run the Jewels. Um, shout out to Killer Mike and LP um, and Mass Appeal Records. Um, I'm on a record with them called Love Again, and it's a real dope record, and I just represent the ladies, you know, and that one verse is like an album. That one verse still the entire show. And that's why I've been touring with them as far as, like, off and on doing special, amazing dates with them since it came out last year in November or something like that. I don't want to say the date, the month, because I don't know for sure. But I've been touring with them off and on for about a year, off one verse. And every show we rock um, is 15,000 plus. You know, we've done the House of Blues, stuff like that, and like, um, you know, club venues. But I'm not going to lie, yo, festivals is where it's at. Now, are there any do's and don'ts rocking a festival versus, you know? Uh... The do's is look good because they're going to have your ass on a big-ass screen TV <laughs> for people that's way in the back that didn't pay $1,000 for the VIP front tickets. Uh, somebody that paid 500 they're going to be way in the back watching your ass on a big screen. So just make sure you rock that shit. In a club, the motherfuckers you're probably performing for, they, you know, they care, but, you know, it's a club. It's more like, you know, um, so it's a little more intense. It's a... Uh, it's just good, you know, but once I look back and I see, because honestly, when I've um, done shows with them, I look back at footage and I'll be like, damn, I was on a big ass screen. I don't, or damn, yo, the niggas like said it's stupid. I don't realize until I look at it. And that's when I, when I go out next, I'd be like, okay, I have to step my game up even more. Like I'm doing Vegas um, this weekend with them and I, I need to step my game up. You know, I have to, because people are watching, it's fucking 10,000 plus people. So, yes, it's, it's, it's more, um, the do's is look good, the don'ts is don't fuck up. It's pretty much simple. Does that make sense? Do good, don't fuck up. Do you, I notice a lot of times when people do festivals, they wear like, you know, the, the earpiece. The earpiece. Do you? I haven't, I, you know what? I look, I'm like, damn, dude, I'm not a fucking star yet. I don't have a fucking earpiece. I want to be a rock star. I need an earpiece. Don't have an earpiece. The sound be so good. The fucking shout out to their DJ, track star, and the sound guy. Yo, it's it's impeccable. Mike or LP, they don't have earpieces either. 
but I can't wait to give me one and perform one. That's when you make it when you have a goddamn earpiece. 